The fate of Malaysia's government is in the balance. Soon after Prime Minister Mahathir Mohamad sent his resignation to the king, his party announced it was quitting the coalition government. Over the weekend, party members held talks with opposition politicians on forming a new coalition that would block a plan to hand over power to Mahathir's rival, Anwar Ibrahim. A lot has to do with also with personality. These two men have a history, a long history. Uh, Mahathir put uh, Anwar Ibrahim in jail and, and, and they came together. And now um, I think we're seeing a situation where Tun Mahathir in Malaysia seems unwilling to let Anwar take power again. Anwar was deputy in the 1990s when Mahathir was prime minister for the first of his spells as leader. Both were members of the United Malays National Organization, or UMNO, the party in power since what was then Malaya gained independence from the British in 1957. But they fell out and Anwar was sacked, then jailed for corruption and sodomy. He described the charges as trumped up. After his release, Anwar rose to become leader of the opposition and struck up an alliance with Mahathir just before the last general election in 2018 to defeat Amno. The ruling coalition agreed that Mahathir would hand over power to Anwar by May this year. 94-year-old Mahathir, the world's oldest prime minister, hasn't given a reason for his resignation. But analysts say they don't see eye to eye on a number of issues including a decades-old policy to grant preferential treatment to the Malay Muslim majority, such as in jobs and home ownership. Malaysia, we have ethnic and religious tensions. So the Malay majority in Malaysia are very worried that the Chinese component in the old administration was getting too powerful. So for the past two years, the opposition AMNO and PAS party has been making the argument that the previous government was essentially a Malay front but controlled by the Chinese and therefore we have to overthrow it to make sure that it becomes a Malay government again. The king has appointed Mahathir to stay on as interim prime minister while a new cabinet is formed. To govern, it has to show it has the support of 112 of 222 members of parliament. Mahathir could well stay on if he has enough support from MPs, even if it means a change in coalition partners. Civil society organizations have expressed disappointment at the turn of events. They say it's undemocratic if politicians who were defeated in 2018 elections can be brought back to power like this instead of through the ballot box. It's a development that's created confusion and anger. Florence Louis, Al Jazeera, Kuala Lumpur.